Again, everybody in here seems to be aware of who these gentlemen are, but just in case you're unfamiliar, um, let me go ahead and introduce my guy right here. This is Gary Antonio Russell, goes by Antonio. He's a 118 pounder. He's a bantamweight. He's 20 and one, coming off a of victory just uh, you know, a couple weeks ago in Orlando. Um, Gary, first of all, or excuse me, Antonio, first of all, thank you for joining, bro. Appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Look, you just had a fight, and it's crazy because. I was watching, I was there, and I was watching ringside, and I thought you had a great performance, but I talked to your brothers, well, specifically Tuan, and I was like, yeah, man, Tonio just did his thing, and he didn't have anything bad to say, but he obviously views things differently, because y'all together, y'all see the sport differently, right? Y'all have different expectations, so how do, what do you think about your performance, first and foremost? Uh, if my dad was here, obviously, how would I feel as though he would have graded me? Uh I kind of heard him saying, man, he was like a C. Like a C. He looked tight. He started smoothing out by like the second, getting in the third round, when that. Um, didn't take no punches, really. The guy wasn't on my level, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, he's not on my level, and I should have made it look as so. So just with my performance and all, I would look to expect that my pops to probably give me a C. Yeah. So, how did you grade yourself? I'm hard on myself. I'm hard on myself. So uh I'd probably say a D. To be honest, like when I go a back D? and look at it, yes, I go back and look at it, I'm like, ah, damn, I should have just got this dude out in the first round. Yeah, yeah. But you got him out of there for sure. And you won the fight, which is most important. So I gotta ask, you know, go ahead, my bad, Tonya. No, I was saying, of course. I'll get right. Yeah, so I, I just got to ask, obviously, what, what's your ideal path forward? Because you, you're in a division where, obviously, there's champions, there's belts. The names there aren't as known, or uh, maybe on the stage here in America, as we, they should be, right? Because they're champions, but it just is what it is. But for you, ideally, what's your path forward? What's the fight that gets you where you want to go next? Honestly, I don't even really know right now. I just need a name. I just want any name that's buzzing right now. I can't really tell you because if I'm honest, I don't really watch the sport. I watch the people from my area and the good names. Other than that, I don't, I don't watch the sports. I watch a lot of the old films on the old fighters. You, so you, I no, cross, then I can tell you. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you, which is exactly where you, you know, I wanted to go with it, right? Because I didn't know. And that's why I asked the question. I didn't know if, you know, what meant most to you was, look, I'll fight so-and-so at 118. Because I said, there's a lot of Japanese fighter champions there right now um, that are great. They're just not as known. So I don't know if, you know, your desire is just to chip or is gaining more notoriety for your talent, which is also important, equally important. What's up, Twan? Appreciate you joining. Everybody yeah, in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up with you, man? I'm well, here. We live. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see you, Sean. <laughs> hey, bro. Appreciate you. We're gonna get right with you, Tuan. I'm just uh wanting to wrap this up with Tony or talk to Tony about a couple of things real quick, but thank you for, for rocking with us while we get through that. But um, yeah, Tony, so getting to it right above your division 122. Obviously, there's a very well-known name. You got Naya anyway. Right below you at 115, you got Jesse Bam Rodriguez. So my first question to you is when I know you said you don't watch boxing and I respect that, but do you watch those guys or have you seen those guys enough to yeah. just share? All right, what's your yes. opinion on both those fighters? What do you think? Yes. I like uh Bam. I like Bam and I like anyway. Who can't like anyway? Who can't like anyway? Now what you was talking about, that hate and stuff, G, this would be one of them things we could bring up. If people say they don't like anyway, they just hate it <laughs> at that point. <laughs> anyway, good. He's nice. You feel me? Uh, Bam, I like Bam, too. I like Bam. I watched a few of his fights. Is there something specifically about them that when you see them fight, you go, all right, they do this well or they do that well? Yeah, as a fighter, I like their ferocity. You know, they both have this mean streak and they do it with a certain level of creativity. You know, and I like it. They got a little swag with them. So when you think about yourself, could you ever see yourself moving divisions, whether it's down or up, to maybe pursue one of the fights with one of those two guys? Because those are the biggest names around your division. Of course. Of course. I feel as though I can go up or down pretty easy. You know, I usually 
come in around like one sixteen, and I never make a have a hard time making weight. Uh, I feel like for me to go up to one twenty two, I'd be a lot stronger there, and I feel like that'd be just as easy. So I feel like that's definitely something that could possibly happen in the future. You have a preference, like if you had to have it your way, I'd rather go up and face anyway, or I'm cool. Or going down, or Jesse coming up and facing me at one eighteen. Whichever one come first. Okay, fair enough. So tell me this much: How do those fights play out? So if you got any way, what kind of things do you think he would have to deal with on your end that would make the the fight really tough for him? He would have to deal with my slickness. He would have to deal with my swag. I feel like a lot of fighters from the DMV area they uh carry a certain level of swag that a lot of other guys don't have, you know, and I feel like he would have to get past that. There's a lot of things that I have been displayed just with me being a pro that a lot of people haven't seen. You know, uh, I would have to have maintain the defensive discipline as well because he does, he could punch, he could punch and he's a sharp fighter. I have to be on point when I fight anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. If he run and get reckless, I know I have the stopping power to put him down or put him out as well. Mm. Me winning, of course. No I doubt. Clearly, I could see me winning. I could definitely see me winning. I could see him running in and probably getting clipped with something, as well as if he rush in and go for an early attack. And Bam. with Bam, with Bam, ah, Bam is nice. He he he's good, but I feel like where I'm at right now, I feel like if he comes up. He'll probably feel he'll probably be too small. He'll probably be a little too small. I don't I don't know how he, with his walk around ways or how he carries his weight, but I feel like if he come up, he'll be a little too small, and I could I could probably hurt him at that weight. If I go down, I feel like uh I don't know. I feel like if I go down, he'll probably feel too small too. I'm not gonna lie. He's good. I just feel like he's probably a little too small. Got you. Got you. Well, I mean, listen, I think uh, any fighting fan would love to see Tony O'Russell versus either one of those guys. So let's see what happens. You never know with boxing, but let's see what happens for sure. Let me get your thoughts on this, Tony, because I've gotten uh, Gary's thoughts, obviously. I talked to Tuan in Orlando about this, but this whole Lamont Roach thing with your brother, what are your thoughts on it? Like the back and forth, some of the things that have been said, how do you see it? Man, that's how fight sales now, right? I don't, I don't think my brother said anything wrong. I don't think he said anything that the other fans haven't already said. I think his delivery was just different than everyone else. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gary definitely got his own unique delivery. How, how do you see the fight breaking down? So just give me your Lamont Roach tank breakdown, your opinion. I mean, Big Brian ain't give it to you no better way. He could definitely... Take the early half of the fight because Tank usually do start off slow. They usually do start off slow. Put them drinks in the bag. And in the later rounds, keep your D on point. Keep it in the middle of the ring. Stay off the ropes. Know when to smother, know when not. Keep your defense on, on point and keep winning the fight the way you were. There you go.